Man, this is crazy. <laughs> What's going through your mind, brother? Man, it, uh, it, it, it just doesn't seem real, you know. Um, God is good, man. Um, it's an honor and a privilege to be here with all of these guys, man. Great culture here, great city. Um, I got great teammates. Um, thanks to Denver, man. Thank you to all the guys over there as well, man. It's been a crazy 365 days, man. The only way you can sum it up is, uh, you know, God is good. You know, they're a good team. They're a really good team. You know, Joe Burrow, great quarterback, was getting the ball out super fast. We just stuck to it. It wasn't a speech or nothing. We just stuck to it. We kept doing uh, the same things that we had been doing all season. We fought through adversity all season long. Just continued to take it one play at a time. We believed in a rush, believed in our process, believed in our teammates, and you know it, it worked for us, man. God is good. How's it going, Lindsey? <laughs> man, man, Aaron Donald is good, man. I don't think I've ever played for, for more in my career, man. I was uh, playing for DT. You know, he passed away suddenly in December. I was playing for my son. Uh, he was born in August, uh, playing for Trevor Mowad. He passed away at the, the, after the very first game of the season, um, playing for all of my teammates here. There's so many, um, so many hard workers, so many talented guys, so many guys on my team that was deserving of this moment, man. And, and it feels good to give it to him. It feels good to give it to Aaron Donald, Andrew Whitworth, Jalen Ramsey, all of these guys that have been working their whole careers to get to this point. You know, God is good. Uh, you know, the crazy thing about me, I just believed it. I, I, I believed in Denver. You know, I believed that we was going to be able to get things right and make it to the Super Bowl. And, you know, I've always been optimistic like that. Came here, I had that same belief. You know, I believed in our team, believed in our quarterback, believed in our process and the culture here. And, you know, we just continue to take it one day at a time, one week at a time. You know, we, fa we fought through adversity. When I first got here, we lost three straight. We were able to rally, um, went on a streak. Lost the last game of the season to a tough 49ers team. Getting the playoffs, fall all through the playoffs. Get here to the Super Bowl. We had to fight to get the win today, man. We got a team full of fighters, man. It's an honor and a privilege to be here with all these guys. What, what do you think the second ring means for your legacy? Oh, it, it feels great, man. It, it uh, you know, God is good, man. That's uh, that's that's all I can really say, man. Um, you know, it's just a blessing to be able to experience this. Um. You know, this is all God's plan. There's nothing that I did special. I just wake up. I try to be the same one every single day. Um, I believe in myself, man. I believe in, you know, the people around me. You know, I got a, a great support system from my mom, my dad, my brother, um, you know, my, my cousins, and, you know, my, my cameraman and my assistant and everybody that just believed in me. You know, I, 2000, the beginning of 2020, man, I, I you know, I dislocated my ankle to, the very uh, first week of the season, you know, um, everybody rallied around me. Everybody kept me up, man. It's been a crazy two years. <sighs> you know, um, you know, God is good, man. It's, there's really no other way to sum it up, man. It's just keep working, you know, keep um, keep my head up, man. Um, just just keep praying. That's all you can really do, man. And it just it just feels good for it to happen. Oh, he's he's just di he's different, man. He's the truth, man. He does everything well. Um, he he never turns it off. You know, on the football on the football field, off the football field, in the locker room. You know, flying on the plane, two games, flying on the plane, away from games, um, working out, um, in meetings. You know, he's the same guy. He was determined for this moment, man. It, it feels good to be a part of uh, you know this win for him. Vaughn, Aaron apparently told Rodney Harrison that if you guys win, he might retire. I'm wondering if you had a thought on that. I, you know, I don't know, man. He's he's done everything you could possibly do, but this feeling right here. It's nothing like it. It's, it's addictive. You know, once you feel this, um, coming to the Super Bowl is one thing, but winning it is different. And, um, you know, we just had to see, you know, he's, he's done so much. But I tell you, this feeling is great. It just makes you want it more and more and more. Um, but he's definitely uh, capped off a great career if he, if he chooses to do that. But this is a, you know, this is a, a, a addictive feeling, man. And I just can't, uh, you know, see him walking away from this. I was just telling guys this is football heaven. Um, you know, maximum effort. Um, you know, you, <laughs> you know, pressure is a privilege. You know, to, to be here and um, you know to feel pressure, to feel nerves. That's what it's all about. Don't don't flinch, don't blink. And I think the guys did that from the coaching staff, from the trainers, from the, the equipment, the equipment guys. You know, everybody that was involved, we didn't flinch. We just kept uh, fighting, man. We got a team full of fighters here, and you know, it, it feels good to go out there and do it, man. Vaughn, how fitting was it to have Aaron make the game? 
Oh, oh we just rushing, man. We've been doing what we've been doing great all year. We're just rushing, you know, getting off on the ball, um, taking it one play at a time, doing what we do best, you know, rushing the passer. You know, that's what I, that's what I do better than anything else in the world. I'm a great dad. I'm a great brother. I'm a great son, great teammate. But uh, rushing the passer in those moments, I, that's what I do better than anything else in the world, man. And it, it feels good to come out on top. What would you tell your newborn, what would you tell your child about this moment when you reflect back and obviously not going to remember? So what would you Man, I, you know, um, just keep working, man. Um, just keep working. Um, you know, pressure is a privilege. Um, to fight through adversity. Um, you, it, it's never over till it's over. You know, I, I, I love you, Val. <laughs> You know, I can't wait for him to get older and, and see this moment, man, and we sit down and we talk about it. He's going to be an offensive lineman, though. <laughs> My boy! I love you, Val. Appreciate you, man. What would you say to Odell Beckham when you saw him and how's he doing? Man, he's, uh, he's, it's an emotional moment for him. You know, he was on his way, man. He was on his way to, you know, to have a Super Bowl MVP type of performance, man. But he got a ring, man. This is what we all came in for, man. Um, I love the guy to death, man. That's my boy forever. We, we, we forever etched in stone as Super Bowl champs. What did you guys Thank you. Do you think you guys wore down the uh, Bengals offensive line? No, man, they had, they had a great game plan, and they executed it well, man. Joe Burrow's the truth. You know, he was getting the ball out so quick, man, getting to all those scared receivers, man. Shout out to the Cincinnati Bengals. They were a tough team. You see why they made it here. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.